So feel free to get some Botox. In the meantime, I want to show you guys around the house. Selling real estate in LA seems super cool with celebrity clients, designer furniture, and of course, many unique ways to bring in clients like burgers and Botox. But is it more cutthroat than it seems? Today, I'm reacting to Selling Sunset and some of their over-the-top home sales. Is this show accurate from a real estate standpoint? or is it just all a bunch of drama for the camera? Today, we'll put the show to the test. But before we do, I'm local real estate expert, Mark Magstead here in San Diego. If you wanna learn more about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, let's bring on the first clip. I mean, look at this thing. You got a big old disco ball hanging, lions, all these gold wrapped columns in this wrought iron fence. Man, this is this is gonna be a, a mansion, I can tell. Let's check this thing out. Oh my God, this is so cool. So when this house first hit the market, we knew we had to see it in person. It looks so crazy in the photos. A bunch of us just have given it the moniker of the Versace house just because there's so much Versace in the house. Wallpaper, glasses, dishes, all these things that I never even knew that Versace made. Oh, wow. This to me is screaming gaudy. Trust me, I have clients that absolutely love this and, I, and I'm sorry if you do, but wallpaper on top of wallpaper, the huge like curtains and then you have like big gold like stuff everywhere. Tone it down a little bit, maybe a little less wallpaper, maybe a little bit less big of a drape. Versace's great and obviously, you know, for a nice suit or something like that, it's wonderful. But for the whole house, tell me in the comments below, do you like the Versace style for a house or just for your suit? Wait, you guys, look. There's a zipper. I know. I know. So cool. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, yeah, you want to go? Couch with the zipper. All right, so normally what happens when you have zippers on that, that's so you can pull the cushion out, you can throw it in the washing machine. This is just straight designer. I mean, it, it's a gold zipper. I love these bar stools. I yeah. do too. Everything is immaculate. Yeah. I know, I feel like for like nine million, that would be how much it would cost just for like the furniture and like all yeah, the Versace stuff. I think so. And the couch that's Bentley so far, like, oh my even God, though it's, it's insane. So if you have all this Versace, you have Versace wallpaper, do you really think that they're gonna be in the kitchen cooking chicken nuggets? I highly doubt it. They probably don't even touch the kitchen. It's all just like, we're going out again. Let's go kids, come on, get in the car. The client that buys this house, they have silk Versace jumpsuit, like Versace sunglasses. They're driving their Bentley. Probably have like mistresses and pool boys and I don't even know what, but it's definitely not for your average person. She's describing the client for this house. The gold-plated glasses on, the Prada, the Gucci, the this, the that. You know, I've, I've have a couple clients and I'm, I'm thinking of one and the dude is constantly dressed for success. And I mean, the other day I saw him, he had a pair of $900 Gucci shoes on and every single time we see him, he looks me up and down. So whenever I show him property, he's like, hey, dude, you're gonna really wear that? And I'm like, well, yeah, I, I kind of like it. He's like, oh, oh, no, 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 that's totally cool. But I was just- cool. So stinking cute. I wanna sit on it. I know. <laughs> we have a lot of clients that actually have theater rooms and I'm like, do you use them? And they're like, you know, for the first five months, we would, and we would designate a time to go to the movie, and we would do it, and it was all totally fun. But then after a while, it just becomes kind of a room where you just collect stuff. No one goes in there because it's like dark. I like all the light already. It just screams Tay to me. Uh-oh, okay. Um, right, it's kind of your vibe. If you're getting into real estate, obviously you see the commissions at the front. What normally will happen is if you're representing a seller, the commissions are split. 50-50, listing agent and the selling agent. And normally it can be anywhere between five to 6%. Then that would be split in half. Then you have to give your brokerage a little chunk and then you get the rest. This is exactly what yeah. the doctor ordered. How many square feet is this? So it's just over uh, 3,000 square feet. I thought because you always like the like the loft style places. 100. Compared to the Versace, I'm leaning towards this. This is fairly heavy contemporary and really clean lines. I don't know how well it will wear with kids, but you can make it work. When you're in New York, you, you love that. I love the floor to ceiling windows and you have that little bed, but trust me, those beds look so cool. But when you wake up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom, and you knock your shit on that, not so fun. Then you kind of see like your neighbor's trash cans and you can probably 
you gotta remember this. If you can see out, they can probably see in. Whose furniture is this? Like, what's going on with the furniture? Okay, so this, very this cool. furniture, yeah, it was all imported from Italy. And... Oh, really, was it? <laughs> from Italy, was it? Fancy. And it comes with the house if you want it. I oh, mean, for real? It, they will sell it with the house. Okay. Yeah. Italian tends to be very, very nice, expensive. And fitting in this house, I think it might flow pretty well. What do you guys think of this real contemporary slash mid-century modern? Tell me in the comments below, do you like this style? We have a two-story terrace that has a hot tub and a gazebo upstairs. You could use that for a creative space. It's yeah. This might be, you know, in Sunset in the Hollywood Hills or whatnot, where there's limited space and it's in the hills. So you start building vertical. They probably have this double decker terrace and a bunch of terraces based on the fact that you don't have any yard space. But a lot of times they create outdoor space with terraces in lieu of having like a nice big flat backyard. How many bedrooms did you say this was again? So this is a three bedroom. We have the two guest bedrooms up here and then the masters downstairs. Oh, nice. I don't know if this is gonna be a great family home. Might be great for two young professionals or something and you could probably make it work, but it, it seems like a lot of levels to me. One of the guest bedrooms. I love this one because it overlooks the outdoor entertainment space, which is really nice. It's just got a beautiful view of outside. Um, windows on both sides. That is lovely. This is a good spare bedroom. Though. In order to call a bedroom a bedroom, you need some sort of closet. This one kind of had like the built-ins, which we're seeing more because that way, instead of having like the closet that you just hang clothes, you can have like a section up top that will be your hanging clothes. You can have some pull-out drawers and it just kind of creates a nice space. Okay, I want to show you guys the master. I think it's going to be one of your favorite places. Gotta love the green shoes and like the the, the motorcycle jacket with all like the rhinestones and stuff. Uh, not rhinestones, but like the little spiky thing. I mean, she's dressing for success. I love it. In the whole house. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This wow. is. So you have the natural lighting. You have a great bathroom with a full size tub, steam shower. That master actually looked pretty fun and usable. I mean, you have the cool tub, steam shower. I don't know if they have any kids, but it seems like it's working. I'm really excited for this brokers open. I'm doing a twilight event and it's going to be burgers and Botox. I would really want to create something that everyone will remember. And I mean, it is the two essentials, food and Botox. I mean, come on. Obviously, I could use a little Botox, but burgers, yeah, yeah. We came to party. Four bedroom, four and a half bath, 5.4 million, five, five. You know what, probably, Priced about right. You know, it looks like it's got a nice pool, some good views, and it, it looks like a pretty nice area. So we'll see. Hi, guys. What a fun concept. Burgers and Botox with like Quinn and Out, like your last name. That's super cute. I know. <laughs> so feel free to get some Botox. In the meantime, I want to show you guys around the house. Wouldn't you show the house to the ladies in prior to having Botox? Because then they're gonna have no reaction. They're just gonna be like, Doot. you love the housing, but you know, they, they could be like smiling and you're not gonna know. Those Los Angeles properties were cool, but I wanna know, what was your favorite? And what other real estate shows should I check out for the future? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll let YouTube know that you wanna see more videos like this one.